So after I got my PhD, I was uh, supposed to go to the University of Pennsylvania, but there was an opportunity for me to get uh, experience in the industrial work, in, in industry. Uh, at, at Merck, I was going to get exposed to very high uh, tech uh, equipment to do uh, research in organic chemistry. And I realized that uh, that type of work was actually not um, just because we have expensive equipment. There was a way to, uh, or it changed my way of uh, looking at um, how experiments are performed in organic chemistry. So. We are, I mean, for, for a school that is this size, it's unbelievable what we have in the chemistry department. We have, uh, we are talking about state-of-the-art instruments. Um, we have an, a nuclear magnetic resonance machine. We have instruments that are the type of instruments that you find in, uh, in big schools or, uh, or in industry. Even in industry, they don't have that anymore. But we have instruments like those. Well, chemistry is everywhere. We see it in all the materials that we have, our clothes, our plastics, uh, everywhere. So it's, it's interesting how we have shaped molecules to behave the way we want to have specific properties. So uh, something that I see when I, uh, uh, when I teach organic chemistry is that uh, students basically realize how uh, uh, our understanding of molecules can just, just open their minds to, 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 to what, is, uh, what is possible in this field. So that's very exciting. So when you see excitement in a, in a young learner, I mean, nothing like it. You know that uh, the, the type of work that you're doing is affecting how uh, a young learner is, gonna, is going to do in the future. And uh, that's, basically, uh, uh, that's basically the point, right? <laughs> when... I, would, I was used to uh, very big schools when you have uh, classrooms with 300 people. And uh, I realized that it was, it was not the type of uh, education that, that I had when I was an undergraduate student, for example. Uh, we, were, we had small classrooms, we were uh, uh, in constant uh, interactions with the instructor. And I, I saw that that worked very well. The first, one of the first things that I was told when I started working here is that I had freedom. And that just opened my mind to, to try uh, different, different ways of approaching the, um, or of showing uh, the material for, for the class. And uh, I can see that students respond very well to that.